Now for a First Coast News exclusive, a historic but crumbling school on the First Coast will become a school again. The old Hastings High School stopped holding classes in 1985. Tonight, a look at the building before it's renovated. We go inside of it and tell you about what it could do to help Hastings become revitalized. This was the principal's office when I was here, and I only had to be in this office maybe two times. Tony Coleman went to the Hastings School. He is now a St. John's County School Board member. He and other school district officials took First Coast News on a tour of the historic Hastings High School building Thursday. It's almost 100 years old. It has served many uses throughout the years, but most recently has been, much of it has been vacant. Nicole Cubbage with the school district says the first floor of the building will be renovated first, transforming it into a second campus for First Coast Technical College. So this is our grand old lady, the auditorium, with her original woodwork and stained glass windows. So this would have been um, where our students ate um, in the cafeteria. As you go in here, you'll see the original brick. Many of the rooms are clearly old classrooms. This room even has the original chalkboard on the wall. So be careful as you step. Expected to open in 2027 for classes, the new school will. Services for pre-K children, as well as services for adults who want to learn to work with pre-K children as a career, provide career and technical workforce development education. The plan for the new school is just one part of the bubbling rejuvenation in the sleepy and economically struggling small farm town of Hastings. The county is building a new public library and community center just a little farther down Main Street, and there are new businesses restoring and setting up shop on Main Street as well. I think there's uh, an opportunity for expansion, especially once we get the school together and moving in the right direction. Uh, that economic expansion in the community uh, will be there once we have that together. The first floor renovation is expected to cost $10 million. 75% of that will come from a grant, a project to restore a schoolhouse that could help revive a town. It brings hope back to our community. It was so fascinating to go inside of that school today. And again, all expected to take about two years to really restore. The plan then would be eventually to open in 2027.